The salmon have a life cycle. It is difficult, a difficult journey from the egg to the spawning adult. That is a, an egg of a salmon to it becoming mature enough to reproduce. That's called the spawning. It said that only 2% of all salmon hatched will live to adulthood. There are many natural predators that come after the salmon. There are the, the birds, there's fish, there's uh, marine animals and disease that come upon them. Many are so tired from making the trip upstream, upstream that they don't eat or they eventually die. There's even a location in Brook Falls, which is a waterfall located in Katmai National Park, a, a, a preserve in Alaska, where about for a mile and a half, there are leaping salmon who jump over the six foot falls to get to the brooks, which is their spawning ground. Oftentimes, if you look at the image of this, sitting on the banks are often these hungry bears. And the hungry bears, it's like Christmas for these bears. All they got to do to catch a salmon is to stick their paw out, grab one and start eating. So all along the banks in these salmon's survival are these bears that are attacking them. But there is a percentage. There are some strong ones. There are some ones who swim a little bit different than the others. There are some ones who are a little bit slippery than the others, who slip right through the fingers of the bears. And your praise should be is that you're destined to make it, just like some of those salmon are destined to make it. Sw swimming against strong currents and things coming against us, we've made it. Swimming upstream and tired from all of the swimming we've had to do in life, we've made it. It's been hard. We've had to battle against bears. We've had to battle against other things that are coming to snatch us up. But does anybody know that many of us have survived? And I'm telling you, you've survived because you're the survival of the fittest. You have no idea what I've had to survive Whew. to get to where I am here. You have no idea what I had to endure in my lifetime to be who God made me to be. You have no idea what kind of hell I had to wake up to and go to bed to at night. Oftentimes, we none of us tell all of our testimony, but all I can say that can shout me today is that I was fit to survive. I was made to make it. I was designed to be here. And for that reason, I'm alive with a purpose. And if my purpose is to give you this message today, that you are survival of the fittest and that God has fit you to survive, then that's my job. That's my Moses mission. And I believe you have one as well. Survival of the fittest. You are fit to survive.